Here we are in Pro Tools 2021.6, and there have been some huge improvements in our dark UI and in color. So let's go ahead and check those out. Now, normally, whenever you wanted to switch to the new uh, dark UI, you would come to setup and preferences, display and switch over, and then of course, restart. And that was always a big pain, but now in 2021.6, head over here, change it to dark, and boom, it instantly switches to dark the way that it should and you can get back to working but it gets even better than that let's come back here now i can double click on a color tab here in the edit page or of course over here in the mix page however you prefer to do it to bring up your color palette you can also bring it up uh, over here as well if you just want to bring up your color palette and now you'll notice a new ui customization menu so click your triangle flyout, and we have a lot more options now in our color palette. So we could change the theme from here, from classic to dark, right there on the color palette. And we can also customize each of these categories, the general, the tracks, the clips, grids, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can save that as a preset and then recall it whenever you want. So here in the general text brightness, let's pull this way up. You can see how much brighter the text overall is or take it way down. So look at all of the text here, right? much darker, much brighter than your background brightness. You can take this way down and again, customize things. Instead of going for a full dark theme, you can just customize just the background if you wanted uh, to do that. Make it white. Let's reset that to standard, maybe a little bit darker. Let's go a little bit darker, why not? Let me have our toolbar brightness, customize that even further, make that more dark, make that much brighter, whatever you prefer. Then we have controls for just the tracks. So our track headers, let's switch over here to the uh, mix page, you can see that. So the track header brightness, let's pull this up. You can see how our tracks are now getting brighter or darker, you can really take them way down. So if you really wanna mix some metal, you want some black tracks, you can do it, do it like that. Then your uh, saturation. So of course for the colors now, we can just saturate to those colors for our tracks. Then you have a separate slider for your folder track header brightness. I don't have any folder tracks and then the overall timeline brightness, but you can again, customize however you want. You see the uh, timeline back there. Just reset that to standard and then go to clips. So now we can change the waveform brightness or a much brighter waveform, whatever you prefer and then the background brightness of the clip. So we can have a dark clip. All these clips are dark, really bright waveforms, or we could take this way down like that if you just want. Again, if you're mixing metal, black metal, that might work for you. And then we have grid. So in grid, we can change the brightness when we're in grid mode. We're in grid mode right now. You can take these grid lines way up. Now look at those grid lines, okay? Go over to this part of the track. You can really see those grid lines really well, but then, for our brightness in non-grid mode, right now it's on 50, I'll pull it way down here. I'll switch over to slip mode. They're not nearly as noticeable and that might be what you want for something, you know, something like slip mode where you're in there trying to slip things around, not based on your grid marks, but then you can head right back to your grid mode and then your lines show up uh, much more apparent right there. So again, customize that however you want. Nice to have that control in here now. You also have marker line controls. So there's a couple of markers in here. There's a marker line right there. Change the brightness of that line. Pull it up, pull it down. Then you have your automation view and your analysis and warp view that you can customize as uh, as well. If I go to the analysis mode on these uh, on this track here, you can customize the waveform brightness. You also have the automation view there as well. Where you can uh, customize all that stuff for specific views that might make it uh, you know, might make it easier. To, uh, to work with whatever you happen to be working on at the time. And then down here, you can reset all. So if you mess up a bunch of stuff and you just wanna get back to the default, just reset all. If you like what you have created, make certain you go ahead and save that setting, uh, set it here as a preset, and that way you can, uh, you can pull them up whenever you want. So that's a lot of improvements in color and UI here in Pro Tools 2021.6, but there's also a lot of other improvements I'll just I'll just touch on a couple more. Not only do you have you know more tracks, uh, we can also do things like this now. So here's a uh, mono track, and here is a stereo track. Now normally you couldn't 
copy over a stereo instantiation of a plugin over to a mono track, right? Or vice versa, because they are different track widths. But now you can, so just look at the settings here. I have all of these over to the right, all the ones up, uh, all the controls up top here. And we'll just copy this over to our mono track, open it up. And there's the mono version with the same exact settings. Pretty cool, right? But we can also say right click here on this track and come down here to change track width. So now I can change this track width from mono to whatever I want. Maybe I want it to be stereo, change it to stereo. No problem. So now we have a stereo track instead of a mono track and we still have our plugin on it. So that is some improvements here in Pro Tools 2021.6 now available in your Avid accounts.